Good morning from Mission Control Houston, and welcome to today's International Space Station update. You're joining us now inside of the flight control room here at the Johnson Space Center in Houston, Texas. Looking down as the Orbit 2 team is manning their consoles, monitoring all these systems on board the International Space Station. Today's team is once again being led by veteran flight director Paul Dye. You can see there in the gray, uh, the light gray vest. All the teams here in Mission Control uh, today following a vest dress code paying homage to one of the great flight directors in NASA history, Gene Krantz. Beside him is Capcom David St. Shock, serving as the uh, communication link between all of our teams here on the ground and the astronauts up in space. And he'll continue to serve uh, throughout this Orbit 2 uh, time period. And then meanwhile, our astronauts on board are the crew of Expedition 34, and they're being led by NASA astronaut and, uh, Kevin Ford, currently on his second flight into space. He's there in the front row on the left. Behind him, two Russian cosmonauts, Oleg Novitsky and Evgeny Taralka, and the two rookie space flyers on their first flight uh, into space. And over there on the right, uh, rounding out this six-man crew, is another Russian cosmonaut, Roman Romanenko, Canadian Space Agency astronaut Chris Hadfield there in the front. And finally, all the way on the right there, second NASA astronaut Tom Marshburn. Pretty busy day for these astronauts on board the International Space Station today. A couple of maintenance activities and also quite a bit of robotics activity taking place on board. Starting off with Commander Kevin Ford, who a little bit earlier this morning was uh, doing some in-flight maintenance. He was going through the uh, U.S. laboratory on board the station and inspecting some of the windows throughout. Uh, following that, he moved on to uh, doing an ozone sensor check inside of the BioLab glove box before moving off to his major activity today, and that's uh, going to be focusing on the station's robotic arm. He and his uh, fellow crew members reviewed all of the uh, DUG and robotics procedures. DUG is the uh, interface used to receive and display real-time uh, station arm joint angle telemetry onto a, a laptop on board the station. And following all that review, which they just completed a short while ago, they'll be doing a walk-off and uh, getting their hands on uh, for the first time to maneuver that uh, robotic arm around. Moving on, our Russian cosmonaut Oleg Novitsky was continuing some work he was doing yesterday inside of the Russian service module, also known as Vezda. He's been doing a, a few repairs to the interior and installing some overlay plates. Following that, he took some time to participate in the Urigan experiment. It's an ongoing uh, Russian investigation into uh, developing more methods for natural and man-made disaster monitoring. So he was doing some observations of his own and uh, quite a bit of photography. Another Russian cosmonaut, Evgeny Turelkin, meanwhile on board the station, was doing some routine maintenance on the comm subsystem throughout the Russian segment. He was assisted by this, uh, in this by Novitsky throughout and also teams on the ground. Uh, a little bit after that, he went on to uh, study, uh, participate in a study of the cardiovascular system uh, under uh, specifically graded loads. Uh, they were using the, the VLO on board the station. That's one of the stationary bicycles. It's located over in the Russian segment. Our third Russian cosmonaut, Roman Romanenko, was continuing some work on the plasma crystal experiment, which looks at uh, small dust particles and other uh, colloid-shaped uh, particles suspended in uh, fluids on board the International Space Station. Is also involved in some cargo operations, taking some items out of the 48 Progress vehicle currently uh, docked to the uh, Earth-facing side of the International Space Station. You can see the full station uh, structure there with two Progress and two crewed Soyuz vehicles currently docked. So he was transferring a, a few items in and out of that vehicle before moving on to doing some routine maintenance on this uh, Russian segment's electron system, which uh, helps generate some of the oxygen for the station atmosphere. Meanwhile, uh, Canadian astronaut Chris Hadfield will be participating in all of those um, uh, robotic arm operations today. Also uh, doing another run of the InSpace 3 experiment this morning. Uh, in space 3 uh, looking to obtain data on different fluids containing ellipsoid shaped particles that change the physical properties of the fluids that they're suspended in when uh, subjected to varying strength of magnetic fields and then uh, just a little bit later this morning he'll be participating in a public affairs event talking to Canadian uh, media across that country that'll be immediately following uh, today's ISS update at 11:15 a.m. central time 12:15 p.m. eastern and our final 
Expedition 34 crew member Tom Marshburn. I spent a few hours today inside of the Quest airlock uh, working on some of the EVA or extravehicular activity tools. He was doing some maintenance to the PGT or the pistol grip tool, which is more or less uh, the drill that these astronauts use when they're uh, outside of the station. You can see uh, Marshburn inside of Quest uh, doing some maintenance on that pistol grip tool right here. Aside from that work today, he'll also be joining uh, Chris Hatfield and Commander Ford in all of their robotics activities, getting a chance to get his hands on that robotic arm. You can see it here uh, as they do some walk-offs and uh, have finished reviewing all of their uh, dug procedures and uh, robotics methods.